what will be the impedance matrix of the given circuit so to find out the impedance matrix uh, we have here v1 and uh, v2 and we will apply kvl using as mesh analysis so this loop will be i1 uh, this loop will be i2 and this loop will be i3 now apply kvl to loop 1 uh, we get v1 is equal to 10 i1 minus i3 so our equation will be v1 is equal to 10 i1 minus 10 i3 now apply kvl at uh, loop 2 uh, we get v2 is equal to 60 i2 plus i3 so our equation will be v2 is equal to 60 i2 plus 60 i3 now apply kvl at loop 3 so we get 10 i3 minus i1 plus 30 i3 plus 60 i3 plus i2 equal to 0 so by solving this we get i3 is equal to 1 by 10 i1 minus 6 by 10 i2 so in loop 3 uh, we have to find the equation i3 and after the solving the i3 we have to put the value of i3 in loop uh, v1 and v2 now put the value of i3 in v1 and v2 so putting the value of i3 in v1 we get v1 is equal to 9i1 plus 6i2 and uh, putting the value of i3 in v2 we get v2 is equal to 6i1 plus 4i2 so finally we get two equation which is v1 and v2 uh, from this equation here we can see that we get z11 uh, z12 and uh, z21 and z22 now we will write in matrix form so our impedance matrix will be 9 6 6 and 24 